My name is Susan Turner. I'm a professor in the Department of Criminology, Law and Society. I also serve as the director of the Center for Evidence-Based Corrections. I'm particularly interested in the area I'm in now because we're here at the university and the university has a natural relationship with other state agencies. We work with people at the Department of Corrections who make policy. It gives you the feeling that by providing them information that you're actually able to move an agency in the right direction based on science, based on fact, to do a better job. That is the excitement and that is the pleasure and the pain of, of doing this kind of work. You're in the trenches, you're down there, we're out at parole offices. I know the worst places in all the towns when you're doing this kind of research is you're at the jail, you're at the prison. And, and you, you feel that, that you really are making a difference because you're down there studying the problems that we all have to deal with these problems. There are many people in our community. One out of 33 people in this country are under some form of correctional supervision and one in a hundred are incarcerated. This is everybody's problem. It's not just the departments of correction, it's not just the probation department. That is why I find this work so exciting because I can bring skill sets, research, but it's a collaborative relationship with the people who are making the decisions. One of the ways we measure these programs is by seeing how well offenders do when they're in the community. The community is our community. These folks come home. They come home to where they came from so that they don't go off someplace far away. They come back to our neighborhoods. And so when, when we look at how effective the programs are, we're saying how much crime do they do and what are they doing when they come back into our communities? So it, our questions have a very direct impact upon us as we live in our communities.